Welcome to Builds With Blocks, a show centred around the micro action figures and brick based construction sets of the Halo universe. I'm your host Tom Fishenden and I'm joined by Matt Salvatore. Ahoy ahoy, how we doing? Gabe Clem. Hey guys. And Colin Perkins. Restore the banished verse. Ooh, yeah! <laughs> oh boy. So today we are going to be talking about the future of Mega Construct sets as we enter June and we begin to look ahead towards the announcement of more sets from the upcoming Halo Infinite. So we've already seen some great sets revealed, including Chopper Takedown and the UNSC Wasp Onslaught, Ooh. and they will be covered in their own episode when we can have seen all of the sets that are coming up so we can speculate across the board. In the meantime, however, we thought it might be fun to uh, speculate a little bit about what is missing uh, in terms of price point perspective with some fun speculation on what sets we might see and what we would also like to see in the upcoming 2021 line. It's a lot of However, speculation there, Tom. <laughs> I'm just speculating all over the place today. Um, so before we get into the main topic of the show, let's chat about what we've been up to on the block front. And Gabe, I'm going to start with you today. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, well, <laughs> I finished that? my semester. I finished my semester. Hey, look, I just, I wasn't ready. I finished my semester, so I rewarded myself, went to Target, and I finally, for the oh, first time go. ever in stores, found the Series 2 hey. of the Blind Pack series. So I scored myself another Red Jackal and two Active Camo Trailblazer Spartans. Which nice. I'm super nice. excited about. Was it a full box? Was it fresh? Or did it somebody got, grab the six, Phantoms already? It was six Series 2 blind packs with a full block, a full box of Series 1. Uh, and I was okay. like, okay. <laughs> so yeah. I took what I could get. But um, I also had a client of mine. I was making a commission for him. Uh, he sent me as like a little gift two Elite Warlord figures that were sealed. And I was nice. like, okay, that's a... That's a freaking huge win. So that's a mm -hmm. really like, nice client. There, right yeah. There. yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was like, "Oh, you're trying to be my favorite, huh?" And he was like, "Well, I already am." I was like, "Trying, okay. you succeeded." <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, got some, got some heroes, got some blind packs. Uh, as usual, I'm still making more customs. Um, I actually just finished my Hayabusa Spartan. Yeah, uh, that's up on my page as well. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, did that make yeah, it to I'm, the I'm, spotlight? It did. The Hayabusa yeah. was spotlighted in this most recent one. And Love I was it. very excited about that. But uh, I've got some got some cool banished plans coming up. Mm. Because, you know, as E three approaches and we might be seeing a little more a little more of the campaign, I wanna have some more banished stuff out there, so I'm trying to trying to see what I can set up. But that's about all for here and now I'm just waiting for uh, I'm waiting for that chopper we previously talked about. I've got it pre ordered. And I'm going to see if I can find myself a Wasp as well when those get closer to official release. Mm. Nice. Mm. Cool. Matt, what about you? Well, unlike Gabe, I don't have nice people to send me things. So I had to buy <laughs> my uh, <laughs> Elite Warlord. So I got I got two Elite Warlords and then I grabbed a, uh, chief, a Chieftain. So I got those off eBay. You can start to see them on Amazon, but eBay's still cheaper. So I got it for a good deal, free shipping. So anytime there's free shipping. Um, mm -hmm. I am kind of disappointed, though, that my pun didn't make it into the Halo spotlight. Hi, a bass badass. <laughs> but, that, uh, it deserved it. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then um, I did or pre-order the chopper, except I pre-ordered two because mm. I, I foresaw mean. that I would be a greedy bastard. Um, mm. yep. And so that's probably... Yeah, that's about it on the block front. I haven't really found anything. I'm still kind of looking for when the Wasp will show up so I can pick that up, but it uh, uh, hasn't even come up on pre-order, so hopefully soon. But other than that, yeah, just the two Warlords, and they continue to be my favorite figures Mega's done in a long, long time, so... Um, always happy to get more of those so that's about it 
Cool. Well, uh, Matt, you might like one of my ideas later on, my friend. You might um, like all my ideas. <laughs> is, it, is it just four elite warlord figures at different price points? Exactly. It's the 15 warlords, the 35 warlords, the 85 yeah. warlords, and the 20 there you go. <laughs> I'm sold. I'm sold. Colin, what about you? What have you been up to? Uh, it's been light here. Um, just really a couple unsuccessful trips to Walmart and Target. <laughs> nice. I go, I go in, that's, that's and I, you know, I don't, I don't hunt that much these days. Um, but I go in, grab the basket just in case. Take my, you know, take the route, spin through. No, nope, not there yet. Okay, I'm leaving. See you later. <laughs> yep. so, um, that's Definitely. about all, to be honest. Uh, I'm planning on building some of my Halo Wars two sets uh, and nice. Halo. Hmm, the wasp that's halo 5 so i need cool. to build that stuff upcoming i think i mentioned that maybe last time so that stuff's um coming up and uh yeah we're excited to talk about that so i'll, I'll prep for that but other than that pretty light um we have been doing uh recording mission debrief our new series cool. which is coming up and uh yeah that's gonna be a lot of fun matt's on the crew this time around yeah. and yeah we're doing we're playing through um we're playing through the best missions and it's Ooh. gonna be it's going to be a Very lot of fun. subjective. So oh, well, no, we tried to be as objective list. as possible. We voted and polled our community, all that sort of stuff. And we're trying to use actually more of a scientific scientific approach. We have like categories and things like that. Okay, so, cool. Basically, um, most of the missions from Halo 5 won anyway. So that's what we're all planning. So I can't wait to see you all <laughs> right. play the library. <laughs> no, it's, yeah, it's actually just all the worst missions. So. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's It's uh, been a, actually a lot of fun. It's crazy because... Uh, Actually, the first time I started listening to Evolved was Mission Debrief. Yeah. So it, it's it's kind of crazy that I've I've looped You've back come around from the and circle, Matt. I've I've you made go. it. <laughs> yeah. I can die happy now. I've made it to Mission Debrief. <laughs> not yet, Matt. We need you for more Builds with Blocks episodes. Don't go yeah. anywhere yet, son. <laughs> I'm not saying that Krista and David are better than Gabe and Tom, but you know, it's a whoa, conversation whoa, whoa, whoa. we might want to. So have that to bit's have. gonna be <laughs> cut. And moving on. Um, <laughs> Was there anything else, Colin, before I just nope. jump forward? Nope, <laughs> nothing, okay, nothing, cool. nothing real related really to Halo. Job. So, yeah, keep an eye on our feeds, because that is going to be a really, really fun series to mark 20 years of Halo and carry nicely into Halo Infinite as well. Um, on my front, I had a little event happen this week, kind of turned 22, which oh. is terrifying. Um, <laughs> hi over there, Colin. <laughs> hi. Yeah, you're getting um, old. <laughs> yeah, I am. Well, I'm, now I'm not, you can... Oh, uh, Grandpa Tom. <laughs> you can officially play that Taylor Swift song and know that you're the right age. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, but yeah, as part of that, I got a another ghost, which was cool. Um, I got the Mandalorian Trouble on Tatooine set, which is yes. cool. It's got like the... Mandalorian speeder bike and a little Tuscan Raider heart and um, a like ballista, which is really cool. Nice. I got a Hall of Armor extension to add to my Iron Man Hall of Armor, so it's now yes. like three rows tall. Sweet. And I'll have to send you a photo later because I'm very happy with it. Go ahead, Matt. I have a question on that. Didn't they do an extension one for Endgame Infinity War and then they did one for the game? So they're very yes. similar, but different suits of armor? Okay. All so, right. Yeah, so they're different suits, but it's all designed to go together because it's got the same modular builds. Okay, so I nice. got, um, I, I've got like two of the game set mounted on top of two of the infinite on um, one of the Infinity War sets. So it's an extension you can add to the extension. Yeah, exactly. And then um, Sweet. the Lego website I write for was selling each of the modules individually as well. So I bought a bunch of them to like build it out. Whoa. Um, so I'll send you a photo of that later. That's and then, awesome. Yeah, I I also got the Avengers Tower, which was oh, a lot oh. of fun to build. Um, I had the classic version back in, I want to say 2015 when Age of Ultron came out. Correct. And this is like a couple of levels taller than that, so that's now in my Lego Cityscape. So nice. Now this day. one's in, in your that one was the, based on the game, it's right? It's a good build. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. So, yeah, I had a very good day, lots of building, and that's just 
seen me over and has meant that I haven't spent as much money this month as I did for like the past three recordings. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Well, happy belated birthday then. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. And uh, shout sure. out to Tom Bovey for that savage birthday burn. <laughs> Bovey, you're banned from the show, mate. Yeah, never again. I'll bring you back. I'll I could you even say you're banished. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so moving into our main topic, um, we are obviously going to be making predictions. So we've all done kind of a list of different things that we'd like to see in the full assortment at different price points. We've kind of gone for a small set, a couple of mid-scale sets, and then a large set to rival the Pelican. And without any further ado, Matt, I'm going to let you take us away with your predictions first and kind of Ooh. we'll go through yours, feedback on them, then we'll move on to the next person and go through okay. it like that. Cool. Okay. I'll start right from the top. Buildable life-size Halo ring. No. I like it. <laughs> Alright, let me wow. get let me get my notes out. And if I had glasses, I'd put them on, but alright. <clears throat> so for the fifteen dollar set, I decided to go with a fifteen dollar price point and then do a two pack, but it's not a two pack versus it'd be a two pack uh, elite warlord set. And we'd have <laughs> both, a... yes. both elite warlords. Exactly. And one's gold and then one's white. And then you can come with a variety and an assortment of weapons and maybe some turrets and stuff like that. And that way you could cool. okay. really grab a bunch of those because I, Meg, I, I really love those figures. <laughs> <laughs> that would be sick. Next, I'm going to go with a Banished Revenant. And I wanted Ooh. to take this kind of set and have it in the bit more of the Banished Flare, make it a little more jagged. So you have okay. a, a bit more of a, like a grittier approach. And yeah. with that... I will have it come with a gold elite ultra. Nice. And then two brute warriors. So we'll do oh, a, something like that. So Next. what is, I have a question. Uh -oh. are, are we running through everything and then providing feedback, Tom? <laughs> uh, you can jump in anytime. I have a question. Yeah, jump in anytime. What's the primary color? Better. Is it What's just the... red with like mm. silver highlights on that thing? Or what, what do you think? I would actually have it most of the time with all of these i probably have i prefer banish to be mostly like a gray dark gray or a light gray with red decaling on it so it's okay. not so it would look more like um it would look more like the aa turret cool and less okay, cool. like the banshee because the banshee is a very red color with gray bits this one mm. would be more gray with red bits mm. i can dig it okay Yep, 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 yep. And then next, I decided, and this would be in like the 60 to 80, probably more on the, the upper side of it, I decided to go with the blister back. Okay. Nice. Will, I like and, it. And this this will have the more gray and then the red, but obviously it'll have all the, the bells and whistles of a blister back. Mm -hmm. And this one, I wanted it to come with Eshram. I want it to come with yeah. two nice. root warriors and then a rocket marine with a missile pod. Okay. Sweet. I like that. it. I and like then lastly, lastly, I decide. Now, the funny thing is, is, I've thrown so much shade at this design over the years that, oh, uh, uh, not over the years, but since since we saw it. But I think uh, Brickman really kind of turned me around to yep. the uh, the beauty oh, of the design. Gonna I'm going to go with a banished phantom. Okay. This guy <laughs> is going to come with Atriox. It's going to come yeah. with two brute honor guards because they're going to be protecting the oh, supreme yeah. leader cool, I like that. and yes. then we are going to have a red imperial grunt mm. and a master chief because i feel like would, master chief should be in everything yeah, would the brute one. honor guards would they be like banished brute honor guards yes. or like halo 2 no okay. no ba banished okay, cool. brute honor guards they're going to be protecting atriox so i feel like Sweet. i like the idea that atriox takes certain things and kind of molds it to his own way oh yeah so like yeah. he like maybe it's not that he needs honor guards but it's more of like a dig at the prophets that now he has guards yeah. that are honoring him with this kind of like I ceremonial like protection so we'll go with that and that is the list I'd buy all of it. Very nice. I like it. Yeah, yeah, honestly, like each one of those sounds like something I would want to pick up. It also sounds like I'm going to have to change my list a whole lot because this sucks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so the Phantom, I love the Phantom because it's almost like 
you know, with with the blind bags and like the buildable, yep. it's like maybe mm-hmm. that's like foreshadowing yeah. exactly what the yeah. big set's gonna be, right? Well, I feel like it also plays more into what Infinite's gonna be, where you have a, it seems like a lot of it is centered on uh, the Pelican being in the Pelican, using the Pelican as a base, yeah. and then yeah. hopefully the, the 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 Phantom also plays an equally important role as I'm guessing Infinite's gonna be a very vast vast amount of map so you're gonna need yeah. an infinite amount of map there's it's one I, you so yep. much. I just opened myself up for that one yeah and then uh i'm i really want an updated atriox figure you know a little more detail yeah. the heroes yeah. one was good but uh i like what this one is and then obviously in my blister back i did have eshram uh i know yeah. eshram's coming in the chopper but i felt like with a set like the blister back you wanted a uh you want a big name brute to come with it yeah. You, yeah. Want, you want someone to have you know i thought of hyperius but he also comes in the aa turret and i already have like mm-hmm. three of him so mm-hmm. <laughs> you know so I, um I, I i quite like your approach with doing the phantom as the biggest set as well Mark. something that i was thinking about this when we were sort of talking about doing it was our interview with kevin and the fact they said that they wanted sets to play off of each other yeah. So from that kind of thought, it sort of made sense to me at least that the things at the highest price point last year for the UNSC would maybe be banished this time around, so you yeah. still get yeah. that sort of flipped play pattern, that would be nice. so I think it makes a lot of sense. I toyed yeah. with the idea of doing a banished Scarab, but I wanted to kind <laughs> of keep it more in the what That's I thought would be infinite, you know what I mean? Yeah. I yeah. feel like the Phantom, because we've seen it, and Brickman did such a good job on his amazing mock creation of it that I felt like I, you have to have the banished phantom in there. Yeah. And I yeah. think it is kind of strange that we're going to be getting a banished phantom over uh, a newer uh, covenant phantom. Uh, I know you guys love mm. the old one. You guys are wrong though. But um, uh, the banished Yeah, because like, think... like the, the moving forward, you think it's like it's banished is going to be for yeah. Mega, right? Banished is going to be the yeah. forefront of everything. I wouldn't so maybe, they would never, maybe they'll never go back and do a yeah, uh, covenant one, which would be sad. But I, I would feel like it wouldn't be without the realm of possibility if you saw um, a covenant styled colored phantom in infinite, because it seems like mm-hmm. Aatrox yeah. is just grabbing everything, and which is fine. Like if you have a purple phantom flying around, because obviously the elites are kind of more in their traditional colors yeah. anyway. So yeah, mm-hmm. cool. Um, cool. Any other feedback before we move on, gentlemen? Um, what? Uh... Go ahead, Colin. Uh, no, I was just gonna ramble. So if you have something in mind, <laughs> well, I was thinking about that that elite, uh, the elite warlord pack. Um, it reminded yeah, me yeah. of the um, the one that came with the two zealots. I mean, would you have? Because I yeah. know you're a big guy about uh, about yeah. crates and things. Would it have some, some <laughs> banished crates in there? Well, okay. So funny enough, I took inspiration from that um, that brute pack that came with. Uh, the orange and the the they're yeah. like gray and they have an orange and a blue yeah. decal yeah so that's where right. i was kind of pulling off of is that it would be like that but with the with the warlords actually to be honest it wouldn't be not not too bad if you had the warlords in banish colors so you know like a let Valir or something like that true, mm-hmm. true, true. Yeah. i like it mm-hmm. cool. cool so um, mess with the colors sweet. on that <laughs> so we will move forward to colin Colin, what do you have for us? Oh, boy. So I came up with so many ideas <laughs> that I'm going to have to do. So I feel like after we talk about ours, I'm going to have to like say a couple of the other one ideas I honorable had. Honorable mentions list. Okay. Honorable yeah, mentions, sure. honorable mentions. So I'll pick one. I had like two from a couple of these. And then I did include some Target exclusives in mind just because Ooh. it seemed like based off our conversation with, um, with John that those did well. Yeah. And uh, they're going to probably continue something like that um, along the line. So, okay. Nice. So we'll start. Hmm. Okay. We'll start with the $15 set. And I had to look this up to see if the previous drop pods were about that that same price point. Cool. But from the trailer that we saw last year, the gameplay trailer, we saw some banished drop pods. Oh, so give me one of those. Legend. Cool. I like there it. I wonder if you know that. That's really give, cool. Give me one of those. Give me a brute, and give me that skewer gun that we've seen recently. Yes. I think it's yeah. one of those in, inside Infinite uh, blog posts. Mm-hmm. That would be rad. 
Um, I have an honorable mention to talk about next for that price point, or at the end for that price point. And then now you're gonna make me choose. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go with what we're most likely, like the, what's trending, I guess, yeah. with the Halo stuff. So I'm gonna go for the 25 to 40 uh, price point and give me a Razorback. Oh, ho, ho. Cool. see, I toyed with doing a Razorback. <laughs> yeah, so it, it looks like such a like a yeah. rad vehicle, right? Yeah. So it's like a twist on the Warthog. It's got like some Hummer in there. It's like this beefy vehicle. It looks like you could just ram into things and just take them out. So I'm, I'm really it's interested like, to see how that plays into it. It's like Bungie brought their shade to the to the playground, and then three four three's like, hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's nice to have a, a different vehicle that, because um, the Warthog it can be converted into a transport, but it looks like yeah. th this base vehicle is a transport, but maybe there'll be attachments in the back. Maybe there'll be lots of stuff. It would yeah. be similar to the Warthog. Who knows? We don't know much about it yet. Um, but give me that Razorback, and give me Linda as that driver. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, give me a Marine, and then, oh, I just had two enemies. I didn't put the detail in there when I was brainstorming. So probably, like, maybe small. Oh, you know what I was thinking? Let's see. Did I have them somewhere else? Um, I was thinking, I'll add them here. It's two drones. Give me, so I, what I want, nice. so my, the, the concept Ooh. here is I think Infinite's going to have a lot of stuff. And we're, I think they're going to add a new enemy in there. Something that we don't know about, like a I new alien so. race. Mm. So we haven't seen drones in a while. So give me some drones. That's my concept for this. But I feel like they're going to add a new enemy this year to the yeah. um, to the, to the mega sets. To obviously infinite, but they're going to add something new. So, so it's, like, it's like the new alien or the one we haven't seen in a while. I want to uh, just speculate on this for a minute from a lore perspective. Because obviously uh -huh. we're a lore show first and foremost. Do you think it could potentially be the alien from Nightfall? Because obviously they're mentioned yeah. in Cortana's speech. But they're as not. Well. They're not. I don't. Th I think the way they've written them is they're not um, aggressive. Okay. They're just like another alien race that exists, and mm. sometimes they cooperate and work with you know the faction at play. So right. I don't think it'll be them. I mean, they do have those designs already, but I, I haven't I haven't seen or read or anything where they're actually militarized. So I think okay. it's going to be something right. else. Well, I'll jump in then. Okay, so obviously the Brutes are running the show. So this new faction of aliens, it can't be bigger or more superior than the Brutes or no. the Bruce Elites. So yeah. so what what would you say? You say maybe a more formidable opponent than a Jackal? Or well, that's why a... I'm thinking drone because like they they he always has some sort of aerial enemy, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, what if what if skirmishers came back? Because all don't, dead. Don't, I'd be fine don't, with that. Are they all <laughs> dead? Because remember, yeah. there's still Shipmaster. Um, yeah, you know, the Shipmaster from the Escalation series. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. What if Skirmishers came back? I I, I would prefer that over all Jackals. Skirmishers though. are gone. Yeah, to be honest. Yeah, I like that. So I, I like think the design from this, Jackals. what I'm taking away is we're saying that the possibility of a new no. enemy type is I'm gonna, I'm gonna, wide uh, reaching. Okay, you're, you're down to one. You didn't get it one. Is. Okay. It is. It is. Um, all right, so, yeah, so that'll be fun to talk about. Oh, Maybe we can question, talk about that a little bit later. What, question what that other you're calling on, on the Razorback. What, what color are we yeah. going with? We're going to go traditional Warthog color. I'm going with the gray as a concept. Give me that yeah. gray go one. Go with the gray. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. That's the yeah. correct answer. Gray would be nice. Yeah. I like that concept art. Yeah, isn't that? Such okay. I think what would look good with uh, I think what would look good on the Razorback with the gray though is like how they've done it with the chopper, how it has like bullet hole prints. Yeah, you should mm -hmm. have like like scuffs all over it and like oh, yeah. silver or something. It's seen yeah. some stuff. It's seen some. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my target exclusives now. Two target okay. exclusives. So I think I hope that the helmet went well. And I was kicking around, like, what helmet would make the most sense? Um, I'll mention it now. I don't think the Arbiter would make sense. I think that's going to be too intricate of a build. Yeah. Um, and I don't know where Ar Arbiter is going to be in Infinite. He'll probably show up at some point. But I think it makes sense for them to go through blue team. So give me a Linda helmet. Oh. Same scale. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and that'll be, like, the next one on the list. And they'll go through and do, you know, uh, Fred and Kelly eventually. So Linda next. Go ahead. Could we add a Linda figure to come with this helmet so it kind of like stands next to it on the stand? We, we, or do you, you may. think it? Yes, oh, you may. All right, all right. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, yeah. Okay. So that's pretty self-explanatory. 
The second target exclusive, I think I I like the buildable weapons, but I don't know how sensitive they're gonna be around rifles and guns, like building yeah, a true. big like yeah. you know, it would be cool. Plus nerfs in that market, so it's Yeah, nerfs in that market, so like maybe but I think they'll probably stick with um, and again I'll I'll I have two here. Um, Prophet's Bane to stick with the sword. Oh yeah. Yes. Which would be rad. Oh and then God. or a needler. I think they could pull off a cool little buildable Ooh, needler. And that's yeah, like an I alien like type. Um, Colin's coming in strong, dude. These are nice. <laughs> um, all right, so yeah, so feeling good about those. I think I think we will see something fun from the the target exclusives. Okay, now I'm up to my sixty to eighty dollar set, and um, this one's gonna be a banished wraith. Uh, oh nice. shoot! I forgot the wraith. It's gonna be all you know, teeth and claws and pointy and jagged, but this thing's gonna be black. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. it's gonna be harsh, and it's gonna be a little some red highlights and maybe a little silver in there, but it's gonna be mostly black, and that's building off of the concepts that we've seen recently um, that Jeff shared with us with when they were showing the banished black armor. We've seen banished yeah. black armor, yeah, um, from Mega also. That was kind of the first early iterations. Well, mm -hmm. I don't think mm -hmm. they called them banished, but they were brutes in black armor. So I really like that aesthetic, and I think if you give me a wraith in that, it's gonna look real mean. So. Is this Silent Storm then, as part of the Banished? Because they're the ones with that like blacky red armor. Oh, oh is that Silent Storm? If it's Storm, Silent sure. Storm, are you throwing in Jagger Redomni? That's who's he, he's riding. I mean, he's the, driving. The Silent Shadow. Jagger's driving it. Shh. Silent Shadow, yes. Not Silent Storm, because that's a book. That's there a book. You go. Yeah. There you um, go. <laughs> really yep. hope I wrote them right in my audio drama. <laughs> <and> <laughs> <call them Silent Storm. laughs> uh, so yeah, that. Jaga. Jaga is my actually he's my my figure in there. Um, cool. And then I don't know if you're gonna go sixty to eighty. I know they've included um, uh, some secondary stuff, but I don't know if they can cram anything else in there. Because if they, you build a big enough wraith that does this thing justice, you may just run out of yeah. parts. Mm. So I'm okay with just Jaga and the wraith. Mm, mm -hmm, cool. Mm -hmm. Cool. Are there going to be splashes of red on that, or just the just some the black? splashes, mostly okay. black? But I could see them building in some highlights of red, kind of yeah. like what they did with the um, the turret, the big the big turret, how they did that. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, yep. But the primary color is going to be black. Nice. All right. I dig so it. the final final set. Unless you guys have any more thoughts, any more feedback. Solid um, so far, Colin. So yep. the 120 plus, and I don't know, it depends on how big they, they make this, but I think we're going to see Forerunners. Um, and I think they're going to do a nod to, Matt, I'm going to give you your beam emitter. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. So give me that beam emitter, because they're, you know, like, they're talking about how it's a little bit of a reboot. Everybody thinks about that first scene in Halo Combat Evolved, the Halo mission, when yes, you, find, you see that thing, you're crawling around on that thing. Um, so give me a beam emitter, give me a Promethean Knight, give me a couple crawlers, give me a monitor. Oh, maybe yes. we'll see the Zeta. Well, it's not confirmed necessarily that the monitor is gone. It hasn't showed up yet, but maybe it exists, or maybe there'll be a new monitor. Um, and then from the UNSC, I went with uh, Kelly. So now yeah, if Linda's yeah. driving the Razorback. We have seen Fred. We um, have Kelly here. Kelly's got a grapple shot. Yes. So she nice. can climb up that thing. Ooh, nice. Um, she's got a commando because we've seen that. Uh, a couple grenades just for fun because she's uh, actually attacking does, this. Does, um, go ahead. Is the, you mentioned a grapple shot. Is that something that would like clip on? And if it clips on, is there any way to attach like a, like a, a th like a cable or something? Oh, I, I didn't envision that. that. Like I think it? that's too, probably too intricate, yeah. but um, okay. yeah, I figured it was just a little clip on like an uh, homage to what it looks well, like. Could it Representation. Be sculpted on with like an interchangeable forearm, so it didn't have. It yeah, there. yeah. I mean, they could they, do that. Yeah, either way. Thinking. You I was think they could just clip paint on? It on? They've done like with the um, the He-Man. The they have little wrist stuff. stuff. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. You think they could just paint it on though, like like a like a a decal on the arm? I, I want it to be detachable. That. I want you to like clip okay. it on. Clip that, it that's on. That's what I envision. Just it's just a little tiny piece though, and then um also so again depending how big this thing is. You have a crashed warthog. Cool. Okay. And then the crashed warthog plays with the razorback. 
because you can take that crash warthog, you know, like the EVA. Remember EVA's yeah. last stand, where you could take Shout that, out to EVA's that last thing stand. and then plop it onto the top of the Razorback if you need. So if you need another, if you need a warthog in this wave, you have one if you build the Razorback. And then you like get a crashed, a crashed Razorback. There exactly. Oh. So um, I like those. Ooh. Yeah, really well thought out. I like how you've yeah. yeah thought about making the Razorback play well with the biggest set. That's really cool. I like the the synergy going on there. I have to say, I think I've wanted the beam emitter for so long, but I think the rate the the banished wraith is a good shout too. Uh, I'd probably yeah. say I, I I'd buy them all at least twice. Yeah. All right. Say yeah. sounds yeah. good. Honestly. Where do, we, where do we send money to you, Corey? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll just let you know. Let's see if I have any. Let's see if I have. I had something. I lost it, though. Uh, Nope, it's gone. It'll probably come back at okay. um, like lying You can always right. chip back in with it. That's fine. Um, yeah, so I guess if that's everything. Gabe, no pressure, but we're moving on to you now, sir. All right. Well, I've only had to change my list like seven times in the <laughs> process of this, so you know it's fine. But let's start. Let's start with my small my my small set idea is nine ninety nine, just like another. It's actually very similar to yours, Matt, except mine's going to be an elite and a grunt pack, and it's going okay. to be an elite minor because uh, we've seen the ultra and we've seen the elite warlord. Mm -hmm. But, like, I really, really want the Elite Miner. They look really good to me. But it would be Elite Miner and the new Grunt Heavy, which whatever yeah. whatever he is the that has all the back. rifles. And it would be a full arsenal of all different kinds of weapons. You'd have, like, shock rifles. You'd have um, pulse carbines, regular carbines, fuel rod. Like, just, just, a, yeah. just a weapons pack. Just something that. easy that people can buy and amass many weapons and, and figures. Because if that grunt um, is a mobile weapons rack, then that would make sense, right? Like you, can yeah, pile you just all put them all on the ground. Yeah. yeah, this this set needs a couple crates too. Yes, mm, it, undoubtedly. Yep. I didn't even think yeah. that was a question. So moving on, my <laughs> set, which comes in at twenty four ninety nine, is going to be a UNSC rocket hog. Oh, oh nice. Okay. Because we haven't gotten a rocket hog in many years i'm pretty yeah. sure yeah like we haven't gotten a rocket hog in a long time since the blue I series right mm -hmm. yeah you're right yeah up. so unsc rocket hog. so is, is the I rocket mean, new is it a new build or is it the same kind of pieces on the back i would honestly want to stick with the same kind of like turret piece they use yeah. just just because but recolor yeah. it sort of the new infinite green that they use yeah okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um that would come with a marine heavy of course because everybody likes the marines and i was thinking of putting linda in my rocket hog actually yeah cool okay she should be there um yeah 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 i, I thought it would look pretty nice and i keep i keep thinking about weapons and like I don't know. Like, if, if Linda is in Infinite, is she going to have the Norn Fang? Or should right. I put the Norn Fang in the set? I don't know. But, like, obviously, <laughs> Linda has her sniper. Marine would have the standard uh, battle rifle because I much prefer the old battle rifle over the new one. Mm -hmm. um, this is true. So my my second to last, which is my my sort of big set at fifty nine ninety nine, was actually terrifyingly close to yours, Colin. Like, okay. I was like, okay, this sucks, but whatever. Well, it's okay. Mine's going to be a banished Wraith Invader. And I'm not sure if you guys okay. are familiar with this unit, but in Halo Wars 2, there's... Imagine imagine a long Wraith. I mean, it's, yeah. it's literally a Wraith, but it, it's just longer. And it carries... It's a troop transport vehicle. Oh, oh whoa. I've never seen so, this. That exists so, in Halo Wars 2? Or is this a new thing? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll send a picture. Remember. We'll you know we'll throw it up just for some people to have some reference. But it's just a long wraith. It's a troop transport. I'm pretty sure. So coming in this set would be Jaga, <laughs> which we both we were both right on. But I I mean I'm still waiting and I want him so bad. And I was like, dude, a yeah. wraith, Jaga, it goes together. Jaga, so it, it just makes it sense. It would be two brute X3. warriors, hopefully with different different armor setups you know however you want to piece that together but it would also be like a two-part set so it would be the wraith versus a unsc outpost so you'd have some yeah. small little terrain piece with maybe some sandbags or crates or something like that fusion yep. coils 
and then you would have um i couldn't decide between spartans or marines so i decided to go with yet again just another marine and then hopefully another new spartan i'm mm -hmm. kind of getting a little like anubis new armor. is cool trailblazer yeah. is cool but like i just you know something something mark new, seven maybe even maybe even a man mark I'm eight gonna, <laughs> mark eight gonna, <laughs> what i was thinking actually is is fred's armor the yeah, centurion yeah. just have just have some random centurion spartan mm. Mm. and then here we the go an ultimate choice the biggest sin the penultimate i'm actually gonna th th this is ultimate? actually gonna be like the, the <laughs> ultimate yeah not the penultimate the ultimate, <laughs> the ultimate set uh i wanted to do a callback to like a rumor and a, a fan favorite set f for mega people from like way back because mega at one point re released this photo or maybe it was a fan made thing i don't know yeah. but it was the unsc firebase and the firebase okay. came with these walls that wrapped around and yeah. this big mountain peak and like turrets and a uh i think there was a what a hornet was in there and a it cyclops was a, hornet, a troop transport hog and a cyclops so what i'm thinking not a unsc firebase a banished stronghold. Yeah. You took the idea and you ruined it. No, I so love that. You would have this huge buildable, almost like high base. You'd have this big wall structure, and it would, instead of the Cyclops with the fire base, you would have a banished Reaver, which is that two legged oh, cool. missile yeah. pod vehicle. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, maybe if you want, toss in a Banshee, a Ghost, just some other, you know, some other small vehicle. Yeah. And this would come with Tovarus and Hyperius, the brute brothers from this oh, latest cannon fodder. Oh, damn. Did they they confirm they're would, brothers? Is that what he... He said they're brothers. Okay. I'm just going to take that and He calls them brother in the cutscene. Yeah. Well, no, I think the cutscene... You're thinking about Halo Wars You're too, thinking of the That's Awake Pavium and the Night Wars. Wars. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah but... Oh, you're, yeah, you're talking about Hyperius. I thought you said... Hi Never mind. Yeah, Hyperius <laughs> and Tavares, <laughs> yep. two jackal okay. snipers, and an elite officer. Ooh. Cool. Nice. I'm sold. And that that's like because the more I think about things, like I really, really, really like the thought of structure builds. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. way yes. back from that first Inside Infinite they ever released, they showed that big banished stronghold type thing. And I really think it would be cool to have just a big banished structure like that. Yeah, I love it. Okay. Couple things. Colors. Right. Colors on this. On the banished base. How are you coloring this? Uh, sort of like, I wonder if there's a piece I can relate it to, like the dark gray on the underside of the infinite warthog, like that dark opaque gray. And then you would have like red, um, like red spires and red oh. pieces and red spikes mm -hmm. everywhere. So those would be the complementary colors. And the same thing, I mean, the banished wraith, uh, I can show you guys the picture, but the banished wraith is more silvery gray with red rather than red with gray. So probably the same sort of suit, you know, you'd have gray and silver with a bunch of red pieces accenting those. Nice, nice. Love it. Warthog, now, Warthog would probably be standard, you know, like I said, standard metallic green that they've gone with. Cool. What's cool. your other question? Um, you said you were gonna have Jago, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. That that was it. That was the question. No, no, no. I <laughs> just making sure I got. <laughs> no, it wasn't a it wasn't a question. I was just trying to think if we could, if I would add another figure. Oh right. I mean, so the mm. Wraith has Jaga, Elite Miner with a Pulse Carbine, and then a Spartan Gungner and a Trailblazer. So, when you say Elite Miner, are you not counting the Elite Mercenary as a Miner then? Are you talking about the combat elite from Halo 3? Yeah. Are you saying you want the Halo 2 anniversary design? Is that yes. what you're getting at? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay, I, want I, that, ask, I want that yeah. mold so much. Like, I want them to pump those out, dude. <laughs> so not the recon getaway. No. 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 I'm tired of it. I love you, Kevin and Mega, everybody. I just, I really like <laughs> I was going to say, I'm like, didn't we get an elite? But the minor, the mercenary. All these yeah. titles are I was are like, is a little... there a miner with a shovel I'm not thinking of? Is there like, something else here? There's a, it's, it's a minor fall. <laughs> oh, nice. Wow. Okay, cool. Yeah. Let's cool. get some Picks. good ones. Tom, bring us home, man. Okay, so I have got four as well. Uh, my first at fourteen ninety nine is Gongoose Breakthrough. I thought Ooh. they've done a mongoose. 
The Gone Goose has always been a there popular build. We've not mm-hmm. got one yeah. with the new design, so I'm going to go for that. And we Sweet. have got a UNSC Marine and a Spartan Mark V in metallic green armor. Use a UNSC Gun Goose to break through the banished lines, hitting a Brute Chieftain and a Crimson Jackal Sniper where it hurts. So the set includes a UNSC Marine with short sleeves, Spartan Mark V, a crimson coloured brute chieftain with black highlights, Ooh. and a crimson jackal sniper, plus yeah. a build of a gun goose which can be converted into a UNSC supply station as its alternate build. Oh, you so Tom just builds. went full promotion. He just went full promotional. Yeah. <laughs> like, Tom just went full send. Like, all right, off, so. yeah. I already got the marketing. Don't even worry about so it. So this is this is kind of like uh, a twist on Recon Getaway, and it's just kind of like exactly. you took it and you're like, yeah, like let's add it, make it cooler. Yeah. <laughs> like one yeah. has Elite and Elite and Grunt. This one's got Brute and Jackal. And then, nice. You know, nice. I like nice. it. Now, does this then carry a gravity hammer, or does he got the like the mounted turret that he walks around with? Ooh. He's got a bulldog shotgun. Oh, oh! Shout out to Halo Two. Yeah, because they do. They use them in the E three demo. Yeah, oh, um, they did. Uh huh. Then we have got at thirty nine ninety nine. So I went for a smaller scale one here. Might have to bump up the price point a bit. You're never gonna guess this one, guys. Oh, banished Rafe Rampage. Oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> A banished Wraith comes face to face with a UNSC machine gun emplacement and attempts to overrun the UNSC forces who are holding down the position. Use the firing plasma mortar cannon and swiveling plasma turret to take out the UNSC forces and lay way to the banished conquest on Zeta Halo. Figures include a metallic green Spartan trailblazer, an elite warlord in silver with a plasma rifle, and an elite mercenary in silver with a plasma repeater. And the figures there were a callback to the Halo 5 Wraith, because that had two silver figures with it. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Yeah. Tom, I keep waiting for someone to jump out and yell, Eat set sold separately. I'm like... <laughs> 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 okay. I, 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 any, any feedback, gentlemen? <laughs> no. You're doing great. I mean... Okay. Now these Gabe's got something. No, I like it. Okay. I actually like that you kind of sold it more as a versus pack instead of just the wraith. I think I think having two sides represented is always fun. Yeah, and yeah. I like what they did with the Halo Five wraith with the like wrecked um, mongoose yeah. with the missile turret. That mm-hmm. kind of inspired this. Um, so then we go into my favorite set at fifty nine ninety nine, which is Survivors go. Outpost. A UNSC Marine Sergeant and two Marines are taking refuge in a UNSC bunker, but Jagger Radomni and the Banished are not far away. Use the breakaway wall action to allow Jagger and his Banished grunts to breach the compound and attack the Marines. Set includes working anti-aircraft SAM turret, communications room, armory, opening gate, watchtower and breakaway wall. Figures include a male UNSC Marine Sergeant with a new cap that is integrated into the PEG system, so it's removable. Oh, two I like that. Two UNSC Marines, one male and one female. Jagger Redomni and two Imperial Grunts in the purple colour, which matches the Grunt conscript in Blind Bags Wave 2. Oh. Now, i got to ask you on this outpost design. Wow. Now, this is what I'm kind of picturing. Back in the days of Reach, there was the Orbital Banshee... Um, Blitz. Blitz that the had that kind Blitz. of uh, aerial, anti-aerial turret. Now, yeah, it, it was kind of like a tower. Now, is that what you're kind of going for? Is like a tower with the turret on top of the tower? Is the turret separate from the tower? It'd be similar to that. So kind of like, um, sort of like a wall with a turret at one end on a tower. Um, but instead of being like a turret, it would be a SAM turret. So the way I would have it set up would be a smaller version of the SAM turret that's on the high ground map in Halo 3. So it would have a couple of missiles in tubes that you could fire out at something like a Banshee. Is this, would this be Sweet. similar to your custom mock build that you did? <laughs> Possibly, Matt. It uh, might be as I if mean, I just yeah. want an official UNSC base. Because it <laughs> sounds <laughs> real similar, but I like it. I like it. I would make it... Yeah, I think that would be pretty awesome to see that there. 
I, I think it would probably be on... a bit more than sixty pound. But... Yeah, I have a question yeah. on price point. It feels like it's going to be a little more expensive than that. Well, yeah. yeah, I think Jay it might be more down. around the eighty pound price point. Yeah. but mm-hmm. it would it would kind of the way I envisioned it, it would be like a set where the primary build is the base. So obviously we got the alternate build of the base with the pelican. But this would be the focus of this set, so it's kind of giving people who don't want to rebuild their pelican the chance to still get a base oh, there you structure go. of some description. Now this True. sounds like an actually a pretty good army builder set, except for maybe the inclusion of Jaga, but yeah. could you make it so that you could add these sets together so that it becomes... You know what I mean? Like, you could do. Yeah, it's so what like, they did yeah. with Firebase. If you did yeah. like a wall and a turret, then you could do... You know, like if you bought like a bunch of these, Two, you could make yeah. a you know kind of like the the fire base that Gabe was talking about earlier. Yep. Yeah. yeah and you yeah, know yeah, what? Yeah. Actually, now you say that it would use the feature that's in the pelican base build, where you can remove one brick and remove the gate from it. So then, if you want a section of wall without a gate, you could take that off and just connect sections of wall, just to kind of make it a lot more I dig modular. It. I dig there it. You go. That's legit. Sweet. That's legit. Um, and then lastly, we have got the Banished Phantom Assault. Spartan oh. Linda 058 faces off against the might of Banished Forces as she comes face to face with Brute Chieftain Tovarus, a deadly foe and a member of the Hand of Atriox. The Banished go. Phantom comes complete with an accessible cockpit, fold down cargo ramps, a removable roof, side mounted plasma turrets. A removable gravity well effect and some banished crates. I've got you that for cargo, <laughs> plus we an go. integrated interior weapons rack. Figures include nice. Spartan Linda 058 with sniper rifle, Brute Chieftain Tovaris with gravity hammer, an elite miner in light blue, a grunt conscript in purple, and a grunt assault in purple. RRP 120 pound. Nice. Yeah. Hot dog, dude. I, you know what? You know what? I would love to see. I would love to see that Phantom mixed with my banished base. Like maybe Phantom is able to like fly in and like freaking yeah. drop off troops yeah. or something. Yeah. That would be sick. Mm-hmm. And then, and then maybe, maybe like a little those cargo two bay. sets. And then map making a stop motion with all of them oh, we're sorted. Yes, yeah. yeah, sir. And then like a little Please. little like cargo base so that you could load up your your wraith. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god, yes. Yeah. <laughs> like a little garage. Yeah. Love it. Cool. I like it. I these. feel like thinking about them all, we're I th- we obviously want certain things, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's All lots right. of, you know, hopefully we get it. You know, I think we'll be happy probably regardless, right? Whatever comes yeah. out this fall. Um, but I think I think it feels like we're on the right track, right? They need to offset a bunch of the UNSC stuff that we got last year f- with yeah. some of the enemy faction vehicles because we want that. You know, we got a ghost um, and we got a banshee, but that's about it so far, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Love it. Um, so we actually... Remember to do the community question this well, time. Hold on, I had well. a couple. I wanted to mention a couple of my other ones. I had oh, yeah, a bunch of ideas. Um, yeah, honorable so, mentions, honorable mentions. What I was for the, my fifteen dollars price point, I was between two. Uh, the second one was, and you guys kind of talked about like a banished battle unit. Um, so yeah. similar to what we got with the um, uh, the the one with the Spartans and all the the, the Marines recently. So, oh, but cool, it's a, okay. like a banished version of that. So a That's bunch of really banished figures point. all together. Um, that, I guess that was more $20. But um, anyway, so I was thinking, let's see here. What do I have here? I had a brute, an elite, and then I had two drones or the new enemy type. So that was kind of where yeah. I came up with that. Um, would, these be, would these be like the typical drones or is there anything special about them? Or are they just painted in red? They'd probably have to be banished up a little bit, you know, maybe they okay. have something strapped to their back, some weapon, you know, something that shoots up yeah. their and like that, you know, I mean, I, th- I, like it. I think we're, again, I think we're going to see something else new that we haven't seen yet. Mm. True. Um, the other one that would, that was in the same price point as my razor back. So the 25 to 40 would be a banished locust. Yes. And Sweet. I think those will make an appearance in Infinite and drivable. How amazing would that be? Oh, you could pop oh into dude, one I of forgot those all things. about those vehicles. Those are sick. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it, it would be paired with... So we, the, the Locusts that we've had in the past were always paired with something, right? It was like a... Yeah. 
Um, I think a mongoose, and then what was the other one? A turret, maybe. A gausshog. Uh, gausshog, yeah. Yeah, gausshog. Oh, that's, that's the first right. One. Yeah, gausshog. So I think this one would be with just a UNSC structure. So similar to I forget it was a Gabe that had something that was just mm -hmm. a small little structure that, that would be dug in battling against this banished locust. Oh no! That um, was, was, yeah. Could yeah. this be a re-release of the little UNSC um, comms tower that wasn't widely available? Could mm. be, yeah. Mm -hmm. cool. That'd be cool. Something like that. I'd, I'd be I'd be totally cool with that. The other thing that I would like to see in this set is the drop wall. So we've gotten yes. bubble shields in the past. So they kind of know how to use, you know, shape that that you know, um, transparent plastic a little bit. So that yeah, same material dude. as the as the bubble shield, but just, just a drop a wall that we've seen in the uh, the demo from last year. Nice, nice, dude. Like yeah. It. So I think those are the other two that I that I yeah came up with. But um, it's fun to dream, man. It's fun. I I think if you looked at all of our lists now, obviously some of us changed some, so we didn't bump into it, Gabe. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> and uh, but it, it looks like it looks like obviously one of the big things on the on the wish list is a wraith, uh, yeah. Jaga yeah. Radomni. So mm -hmm. it's kind of interesting to see that we all are really really waiting for a wraith tank for the banished. And I think with mm -hmm. with what Infinite's done is that it's opened up all the older sets, but just in a banished style, right? So yeah. you can yeah. say like, yeah. oh, I was just thinking when. Uh, Colin was talking about a locust. I wouldn't mind a banished shadow, you know, or something, yeah. you know, anything mm. just in the banished uh, tradition. And obviously, imagine you know, a banished vampire. Oh, see, Ooh, that'd, that'd be, be cool. legit. <laughs> and then, like, I asked for, uh, you know, revenant. So obviously, yeah. it'd be, it would be cool to take all these and kind of give them the the banished aesthetic. But it is it is funny that we are all kind of leaning, I would say, more heavily on the banished, like Colin said. Yeah. So yeah. we're all yeah. we're all wanting to offset it. I would say that most of the time, Mega usually tries to balance out their line, so I don't think it would be so front-loadedly so banished. banished. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. I feel like I feel like if we got one, the Razorback paired with uh, uh, something else, you know, like a Razorback and a Wraith would be a good pairing. Yeah, true. Yeah. Well, we know, and we talked about we've seen the Chopper and the Wasp, so those right. are coming. So yeah. hopefully it's another you know one of each versus the yeah. rest of UNSC stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'm like as as cool as UNSC is. I'm a little tired of green. I want more. <laughs> I, I just want more banished. Mm -hmm. Although I but I, I, I think mind... that's. I'm oh, sorry. Good. What's up? No good. I I was just going to say that I think it's obviously maybe they can't release so much banished because we still haven't really seen the banished and if it's going to be yeah. infinite focused banished they're limited on what they can show us anymore. well i think a lot's going to be revealed my sense is and that's why i want to have this conversation now is there's going to be uh the embargo is going to be up you know oh, i think yeah. we're going to find out like all these sets after the e3 demo it's time which is coming stuff. it's coming and so yeah, then they're going to then they're going to drop a bunch of new stuff um, so they've probably been holding, and again, like remember the delay. So it got delayed like last year, and then yeah. Mm. So the last first year, year they had to be based off that demo. This stuff they probably had planned. Maybe a few things got pushed. Who knows? Right. But yeah, I think, I you know, I think they're they're gonna give some vanish. I think. That's Though go. unless I unless there's forerunners, and that's that's, that's true, thing. and that's then we get a we that. get a beam emitter. Right. But I wouldn't. Right. I'm I'm not done. I'm not so done with the UNSC. Like when you were talking about uh, the. UNSC Firebase. I'm like, yes, I would take a yeah. UNSC Firebase right now. Like, imagine if Mega did uh, in their series where they did uh, instead of one big giant set, they did two, and you had the Banished Firebase, and then you had the UNSC Firebase, and you could yeah, dude, you could do like that imagine so having cool. both pair off. That would well, be, that'd be cool. awesome. I'm gonna. This is going slightly off topic, so I'll bring it back in in a second. But when they did that. Um, radar tower for halo wars 2 and they did the banished turret to go alongside it i genuinely thought that that was going to be the start of a modular firebase series where they'd oh, like cool. release a barracks release yeah. a forge that kind of stuff that would be neat so yeah. who knows maybe down the line if at some point way way in the future free for free decide to do halo wars 3 could happen yep mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. could happen that'd be amazing cool um, so I'm going to bring us back in, because like I was saying, we did have some community input from Discord. We have got three different people who left some thoughts. Uh, the first is the pesky bird. 
who suggested a troop hog, aka the Razorback, which I think we've all spoken about. Mm -hmm. Another Mm -hmm. interesting suggestion uh, on the UNSC front was a remake of the Falcon, which I think a lot of us would like to see. That would be nice. Mm -hmm. They could fix the seating problems. Yes. Yeah, there you go. (laughs) (laughs) Um, A rocket hog. So Gabe, you were bang on the money there. It's almost Woo. as if you looked on the show notes when you were replanning your list or something. <laughs> Nay. <laughs> Nay. A UNSC base featuring the Scythe anti-aircraft gun from Halo Reach. And this Absolutely. I like a lot more than my idea of the Sam turret. I really want a Scythe. Yes. Um, and then also a Banish Phantom or Spirit. Mm. And I think mm-hmm. the Spirit would be really cool if they didn't do a Phantom. Uh... Mm. I feel like you have a better mm. chance of getting the Phantom because they just did a Covenant yeah. Spirit. So well, yeah, I I but agree I mind, with that. Mind either. But I also I don't want a banished Spirit when we still haven't gotten a proper Spirit from the first like four games it was in. Like the mm. Halo Five one's cool, but Halo One, Halo. <laughs> Well, I well, guess it was only in a couple. But in like, my op- <laughs> reach, don't forget reach. Reach. <laughs> Halo one, and then it's like, uh, uh, oh, wait, oh, uh, yeah. uh, and then go back to it. I want, yeah. I want a classic spirit before I get a new spirit. Well, in my opinion, the Halo Five spirit's better, but that's just my opinion. Okay, so moving <laughs> on then, um, yes, anyway. Chucky V suggested a Phantom or a Wraith. Yep. Which again, we have both spoken about. And they would also like to see more structures, which I think is something that's been quite consistent across everything we've said as mm-hmm. well. For sure. Yes. Um, and then lastly, Busters 2005 suggested a troop hog alongside more Warthog variants in general. So again, yeah. lots of demand for that kind of troop vehicle for the UNSC, as well as an AA gun and banished or covenant buildings. And their favourite suggestion, or my favourite suggestion, sorry, (laughs) um, from their list is the idea for a banished equivalent to the building box. Yeah. How awesome would that be? Yeah, dude. That's legit. You know, I would absolutely kill for that. That would be awesome. (laughs) A lot of red pieces. Is there anything else we didn't cover that you guys would like to touch on before we move into community shout outs? I think it's so crazy that Mega has done so many Warthogs and different Warthogs that people still are asking for Rocket Hogs, Warthog Honestly, variants, and yeah. Razors. And it's crazy, though, because like, every time we do our ranking episodes, you guys are like, well, we get a Warthog every time. And then, <laughs> yeah, uh, right. but I'm like, well, it's iconic. And I think that just speaks to it, is that it almost doesn't feel like... Uh, it doesn't feel like a complete line if it doesn't have a warthog variant or something like that, you know. So yeah. I think that's mm-hmm. I think that's cool. I think the Razorback is gonna gonna fit that mold that we're we're yeah. looking at there. So that's kind of. Cool. I think the Razorback is gonna be on this thumbnail. <laughs> yeah. Is it? It's gonna be on the back of it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Matt, I'm so proud of you right now. Um. Okay. So if that's everything, we'll move into promoting community. Um, I've actually written quite a few down this time around, so I'm going to go across you guys first before I just read this list out. Did anybody else have anything that they wanted to mention in the community segment? No, I'm I'm all right. Nothing. No, I mean, I've um, I know we've talked about is it Mutroid? Yes. Yeah, Mutroid. Um, I I I did spend some time watching his stuff. I just haven't spent any time um, previously, and it's amazing <laughs> so if yeah, you haven't isn't it? seen his things his his animations do yourself a favor and just go get lost on his youtube channel for a while because it's fantastic He's an flawless awesome animation yeah for sure <clears throat> now i think i think Ooh. i'm good i don't think i got anyone's okay well <clears throat> we have a big list to go through here so up first uh we already mentioned them because they contributed towards the list uh, of sets for this episode But Busters 2005 shared a really, really cool complete weapons rack build on our Discord and also over on the MCX forums. It's a really clean build which emulates the Halo Reach weapons crate perfectly. And they've actually since just posted a scythe as well, which is just 
my mind was gone. So check that out. It's really awesome. Sweet. Hopefully it will be on screen currently. I'm trying to um, find I it I then in the wanted notes. to shout out a great smooth stop motion work test from Reclaimer Studios uh, for an upcoming series called Marines Convoy or an upcoming stop motion. Uh, cool. They posted a short test segment with some Marines and some Elites, I think it was. And it was just really, really smooth fluid animation, which I thought was awesome. Then Mega Gabby, Gabby, I know you're going to be listening to this, so hello, thank you for all the support. Um, posted a really, really cool new Mombasa mock on their channel, and they've also been doing loads of really, really cool cityscapes on their channel as well. Ooh, that does look um, cool. Which I, I just, I thought it was really awesome because obviously we see a lot of kind of terrain builds and scenery builds but actually you don't get many city builds and they are quite a big yeah. part of halo 2 and halo 3 odst um, yeah, that's so cool I thought that was awesome it's an awesome building building you know it's an actual building you know looks, that looks actually pretty yeah. cool <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's um, cool we then had pocket waffle which <laughs> is my favorite username of all time I, I uh, who shared a cool mix match based on a pilot from titanfall 2 then oh my god there's still more um <laughs> just eggsy shared a fun animation on the discord showing some eggsy! Really smooth animation work eggsy nice. shout out to you hopefully you have seen your animation on the screen thank you for the support that's awesome um and then my friend down under in australia wade stentian wade i'm sorry if i mucked up your last name there um shared a can't be that good of a friend photo of <laughs> <laughs> one of the mega constructs facebook groups i think it was mega constructs worldwide in response to a post on our flood episode where he showed his flood diorama and mm. it is incredible Bad so ass is is really really cool i love the hornet yes. in the background yes. if you're looking at it matt it's so cool. i am looking at it it looks awesome <laughs> i love how the oh, floods... matt's giving real-time feedback i love on how all the these. flood is yeah. <laughs> the wall. kind of like a uh what's that world war z type vibe where it's like the flood mm -hmm. just coming over the wall that's epic. yeah that is epic makes me wish i had flood. oh <laughs> well uh, i got an episode for you yeah. <laughs> um, and lastly, I wanted to shout out one of Gabe's friends. Uh, Gabe, you pointed me in their direction recently, and they have some amazing custom figures. And that mm -hmm. is M's Blocks over on Instagram. So that has been the show. Nice. Gentlemen, would you like to let people know where they can find you quickly? Colin, if you go first. Yeah, easiest place, just Perkline on Twitter. Cool. Gabe? Give me a shout on Twitter and Instagram at G Customs Creations for any commission inquiries or if you want to talk some Halo. Cool, I'm Matt. Uh, just follow me here on this channel. You don't want to follow me on Twitter. <laughs> it's, it's a, it's don't a... follow his Twitter. No, don't do it. Don't follow him. Stop, stop, stop. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a DC roast. Well done. <laughs> really oh, man. Well done. Break the bad news to me every time. Is that it? You're not actually going to oh, say oh, it? Oh, uh, if you want, if you want. If, if you're you... for DC, <laughs> DC Mayhem and Warner Brothers trashing, uh, you can go to uh, at Pure Genius Lego. <laughs> cool. And at your I'm... own risk. Yeah. <laughs> You can find me at Tom underscore Jurassic on Twitter. So that will do it for the show. Thank you so much for joining Builds with Blocks. If you like the show, feel free to support Podcast Evolved on Patreon. And until the next time, Evolved. 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 Dang it, Gabe. Sexy. <laughs> <laughs>